All right, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to do a quick little unboxing here. Uh, Ravel 69 Camaro SS396. See what's in the box. We got the instructions. They're pretty, uh, pretty standard. Nothing too crazy. Builds a big block. It does build the special big block. Uh, the 375 horsepower, that's the rare option. That's the one that I will be building. Um, class looks in good shape. I'm going to leave it packaged up for right now. Take a look here at the body real fast. Got a, got a mold line that comes across there. Nothing crazy. One that comes across the top of this fender. Not bad at all. Be an easy sand. The depth of everything could use a little bit more. So I'll plan to do that. When I build, should be should be pretty simple, pretty easy. Let's go and look at the rest of our stuff. Uh, first tree here is engine. Looks like we got some nice header detail. Head detail is pretty decent. Big block and a four speed car. Be kind of a fun car, honestly. Second, uh, it's got the SS hood on it, so it's got a little bit of raise, and it's got the two chrome pieces in it. Um, Fireweed firewall detail is pretty good. Door panel detail is also pretty good. Nothing to nothing to complain about there. Um, this car has the steel wheel option, which is the the version I'm going to build. Um, detailed pretty nicely. Wheel backs. Interior tub, even though it has separate inserts in it, it's still a uh, uh, a tub style interior, which just makes it a little bit difficult when doing carpet and stuff like that. But nothing crazy. Uh, does not have a rear seat uh, in the interior, so if you were wanting to build this as a, a seat delete car, that's a possibility. Dash has got some pretty good detail. Radiator's nice, sway bar, looks like we got some some shocks of some sort, front suspensions. I, I wish it was a little bit more separate in pieces just because I like that type of thing, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Pretty nice. Bottom tray, pretty good. They put the, the uh, Ravel tag down here in a spot where you're going to put a, a rear end and a bunch of stuff over the top of it so you won't be able to see that there's your rear seat that's uh going to be nice to detail so that's not a problem front cross member looks like it goes in you might be able to take and do like a camaro subframe swap into some of the uh like old uh 50s uh pickup trucks and that might be an option there too uh We've got a spoiler uh, rear valance panel, which I think I'm probably going to install that prior to uh, paint so that I can body work around it and, and have that come in there nice. Um, the exhaust is kind of standard looking, but nothing too crazy. Looks like you got a separate steering gear. That's kind of a cool option. Got a, a nice looking steering column. That's that bag. You got a set of tires. They appear to all be the same size, which is just fine. Have the uh, Chevy hubcaps for the steel wheels. I really like those. Chrome tree here. Looks like we got chrome valve covers that look good. Air cleaners and looking good. The chrome looks very good in this in this setup. Rally wheels, which it could get rally wheels. I have not decided on that. If I do decide to do the 
the RS grill in it that would uh, it would get rally wheels for sure on it. Um, I don't like the two piece carburetor, but I'm gonna roll with it on this on this build for sure. Um, and I should have the chrome inserts for yeah there they are. Here's chrome inserts for your hood. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, got two different styles of taillights, whether they're open or whether it's got a slot in the back. Uh, the difference of RS to SS. Looks like a really good kit. Um, I built one of these, not this version of it, uh, back in the 90s when I was a kid. And uh, I think that I had a good time building it. I built the Z28 version with a small block with the cross ram in it. Um, the decal sheet looks really, really good. It's got both of the hockey stripes to, to work for either any color that you're working with. It's got both uh, 396 engine options for horsepower ratings. Um, the emblems are in good shape. It's got a bunch of under hood emblems, which are really, really nice. And tire decals. So, um, looks to be a pretty cool kit. Looks to be a pretty fun kit. So, I'm building this in a 24-hour challenge. Um, and I'm about to start it now. That'll be its own separate video. So, and that'll go from start to finish on that build. So, you guys have a good one. We'll catch up to you next time. Thank you.